going on, but this is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Satisfactory. You guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't so forget to mind you guys hit that subscribe button, notification bell, so when you can be here and you know when I talk right, you can be here when stuff happens and when I don't talk right, like right now. And also, if you guys are interested in purchasing the game, I do have a Satisfactory affiliate link down below. You can use to purchase it and all that good stuff. And we're back. Yeah, we are back. Um, so last episode, we got our, our copper ingot factory pretty much put together. I did run a little bit of wiring, but I haven't powered it up yet. I'm using our walkway system, like I said before, to get stuff to spots. And then over here, we have uh, this running. And I had, a, I had a suggestion from a comment to run a power line above, straight down to it. And it looks okay. It looks okay. I don't, I don't know if I'm 100% like all about it but i'm willing to try it on this build so we ran the power and then it's running down through itself pretty much it looks like it's still off a little bit and it could probably slide over one here let's do that right quick like right here that seem, doesn't seem right to me but let's find out take you run you down to you yep that's that's right yeah that's going down the middle now okay so anyway having it run down the middle and then connect down below into the factory like that. So I've done it over here and I've also done it on the mining side too. So it, the mining side is lined up. Interestingly, cool, cool, cool. At least we have it up there. So the power is set up for it. It's not, again, not running to it. Also here, um, this might, this is gonna end up feeding in the copper wire and the uh, lovely uh, cable. So what I've got on this side is a two out out and then up here i had to do a little bit of finagling whoa that's not finagling that's falling let's get over here please thank you very much let's do this again thank you very much so i have the one in here and i had to do a squiggle it's not a tight 90 but it's still well it's the wrong is that the right that's the right direction it's not a tight 90 but it, it, it's still there this is a tight 90 it's a tight 90 and they aren't necessarily crossing each other's path so i'm cool with that so at least we got two nine, two tight nineties and a squiggle. So that that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I'll, I'll take that with what we've got. So this way I can feed one line out to go into the copper uh, wire slash cable factory, and the other one can lead. The other two can lead the stuff back to our lovely establishment over here, which we'll get that worked in. I think I like how that looks. I'm gonna go with that. And since we have that finished on the inside, all I have to do is do some painting. Also, I'm thinking about going ahead and changing my default uh, paint to a black and blue. But the only problem is it's going to make all our orange stuff that, that looks like that. It's going to be black. And I'm probably going to go back and paint it a different color. And I have no idea what I'm going to paint. No idea whatsoever what I'm going to paint it. Um, but back here, we need to go ahead and start thinking about futurizations. Now, I did end up fi figuring out on the stream how to put walkways down on top of foundations. So we can at least design our, our setup first before really, you know, getting too involved in, you know, like whatever. I don't know. So I'm thinking about, wait, is that five or is that four? That's four. Let's come over five. I've been doing stretches of 10 with a, on the 11th one, placing another pillar. So let's try this out with five and doing that. And potentially, hmm, wait a minute. If we do this, we could feed back into it that way and not have to use that. We'll work that out. We'll work that out. If that happens, that's fine too. I'm just glad we worked a way to make this stuff happen the other way. Let's go ahead and get some foundations down to kind of block out our area. I'm thinking about making this a tad bit taller. It's a tad bit taller. And first things first, though, is to block in the area. But um, maybe lifting the floors up in this factory by one wall and then having small storages underneath it for our, our overflow coming in from the copper ingots and also the output of cable and wire. So at least we have some that's being stored will waiting to go to the central hub. I don't want to get all up on the central hub stuff either. I want to kind of leave a little bit of room for it. So um, how are we doing with room? I went over four here. That's fine. Let's pull this row up, I think. I want to leave some spaces here. And that'll be coming at that height, which, will, which poses an interesting thing. Hmm, I had to think about that. We could probably go forward one more. It'll at least give us a chance to move some of the conveyor belts down to a lower section here. Let's do that. Let's do that. And then let's go over to where four on this side. So there's two more. There 
There we go. Very nice. Okay. So that has come in and out. That looks pretty good. Uh, one, two, three, four. And one, two. Oh, I did three over here. Okay. So I don't know. I'm not going to say that this is. We can probably have a little offset on it, too. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Um, we got that in. That's up there. And then we need to get some walkways in and we can get started with the floors and stuff. Let me go ahead and clean up this, get stuff painted, and come back and uh, we shall continue. Okay, welcome back. I moved. Yep, moved. Uh, I was looking over here in this area where like kind of went down and then landscape and I felt like it was like calling for something to be put here. So I decided that since we're going to be doing like a basement level, with it going down lower, we can afford to have it go up a little higher. See what, see what I'm thinking? See what I'm thinking? Um, so like there's also parts where it's clipping the grass. What's going to happen is the top level is going to have walls come down here, but the inside we're going to cover up those unsightly little spots with, with walls like this. And then that way it'll look nice and clean. And I think we'll just do the whole exterior like this when we do it here. Like. Like that. So, I mean, there's a little bit of wasted space, but the visual aesthetical pleasingness. Oh, I don't know about you yet. We'll figure that out. Like these little pockets. It's the basement. I'm kind of okay with some of that, but not like crazy amounts of grass coming through the foundation. And what I want to do is have this offset from our... I went counted out to 11. 11. Why not 10? It, it, goes, it goes to 11, but couldn't you just make 10 ladder? You don't understand. Um, anyway, so we counted 11, did that, and did 11, and did that. So we have multiple ones. Hey, Squiggly! Uh, we have multiple setups for futurizations, too, for heading that direction. Um, I feel like our iron um, complex, because we're going to do I guess we might as well do a complex here, too. But it will do the iron reinforced plates as well, because there's so much iron here. Um, there's a six right here, and there's all this lovely space. So um, I'm hoping to do that. Yes, I'm jumping a lot. This is what happens sometimes. This is what happens sometimes. So anyway, um, we're over here and going to be doing this. And let me go ahead and get these found the, 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 the edgings here done. I think what we'll do is do a straight line here, maybe. How much are we going to need? Do I have stuff on me? I do, I think. Uh, let's go to production. Let's go to constructor. Because we're going to be... It's really not that much. You might not even need all this space, honestly. 30 per minute. Oh, don't we have 120 coming in? God, I didn't even remember. I didn't even bother to check that. Sorry, we're doing some more running. Running, tra-la-la. -la. Let's go this way. And I believe it is. Poof. Ah! Yeah, yeah. And we haven't even set these up yet. So 30 per minute. Yeah, we'll have 120 coming out. Because those other guys, we might end up overclocking then. Might end up. Let's just do that. Let's overclock this area. Um, I don't see. Well, I really don't need to. But it'd be really cool to build a big factory. Man, I don't know. Because if we overclock our... Um, lovely miners there and overclock these guys because we are limited in space how this this area is outside um, we could get out 240 240 and that would at least push out let's yeah I'm, I'm down with you let's assume we're gonna overclock and go to 240 let's do that let's just let's push push the button a little bit and make it go I'm not sure we're gonna go plaid or not but we're, we're gonna go with 240 that way we have a few more um, you know because I like building more things <laughs> so let's put this back down again so that guy uses the 30. So we could do four of those for that. And then if we did the wire, those take 15. Oh, we do have that. I could do, well, if I don't overclock it, I could do four of the wires and then two cables. I think that would be, I think that would work out okay. I think that'd be all right. I think it'd be fine. What do you think? I think so. I don't know. I think so. And now that I'm thinking about this underground storage thing, if I can't do it, unless I go up another half, it'll be, let's see how a line looks across the top of this of foundations. Cause that might give it a nice look to it. I think I've done it on another build somewhere. And I just want to see how this looks from afar. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that's pretty really nice. I, t I like that. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. That really gives it some, some nice. Yeah. I like that. That gives it some depth. So let's go ahead and fill this in. 
I'm probably gonna have to go get some concrete, aren't I? I will. We'll fill in as much as we can, then we'll do a BRB, and then 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 have some more stuff done and get some more stuff done, shall we? And what I want to do by the end of this episode is we'll have this whole thing running. So I don't want to like stop. I want to have like the copper running. We're gonna have this running. We're gonna just everything's gonna be running. A hundred miles and running. All right, we can go over another one. And then maybe a double here. I might bring that front over some too. I don't want square, but I don't want to go too crazy over with a design. Yeah, let's go over one more here. Why not? What 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 is your major Oh, I'm out of mass part, aren't I? Yep. All right, let me go get some con Ooh, wee 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 wee. Do we have concrete over here? Do we have concrete over here? No, we don't. Okay, I'll be back. All right, welcome back. Uh, I need to state an obvious statement that you guys are probably all yelling at me about. I, I for some reason, reading the constructor, I pull. I, for some reason, was thinking ingots into the <laughs> the cable, which we know it's wire. So we need to do eight uh, wire constructors and then some cable constructors. But I did want to address that before we went further. I did record more and then realized it after the fact. So I want to at least acknowledge that and let you guys know. So that uh, I don't know. It's, it's it's been a long, long, long day. You know how it goes. Anyway, just wanted to say that, and then we'll get back to the footage of uh, post-concrete gatherizations. Um, I think the next uh, clip, I end up talking about it as well, but we'll, 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 get it, we'll get rectified. Just anyway, I wanted to say that because I wanted to show the building that we did the next, next thing. So anyhow, we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. And uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't, I don't mean Iron Complex because we have that one over there. There I meant like uh, the next level of stuff where we need to have them. Ooh, berries! Where we have motors made over here and stators and uh, modular frames type of thing. Sorry about that. Brainerizations happens sometimes. I told you the words today are difficult for whatever reason. Um, so I've gone around and I've re rebuilt around this. Kind of made it a little bit more congruent shape. I might pull out these two guys and have different sections in the setup. I don't know yet. We'll see how it works. Um, but I do have a feed set up now that's going to end up feeding the copper ingots over here. And I'm thinking about trying to make a way for it to turn around and come down, which I'm, I'm willing to try these guys again. I really don't care for them, but uh, they, they look it looks messy with our 90s. It doesn't look nearly nice. And I don't think this is going to give us a tight. We are not going to get a tight idea of that. So I don't know if I can if I'd be able to, I can't handle that. That's 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 ugly, man. Why would why would you even want that? Why? 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 Tell me. All right, let's put this in here. Let's get us a conveyor pole stack going on. And this is set up for the center, that that one up there. So let's rotate you to where you will meet up with this guy, no problems. So if our center is here, one, two. How do you look meeting up with him now? You're going up. I'd rather have you go down. He's going down. Uh, four right there and then bring you over here and that at least should have been a tight 90 why does it not look like a tight night why do you not look like what you were supposed to be that go over too far is the perspective it was perspective i think whoa okay let's get on top of you so i can see oh my god <laughs> let's go here let's put that there there we go <laughs> Oh, my lords. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Are you serious? Are you freaking stupid game? You're fired. Not really. I like you too much. Well, well, I'll put up with that that time. I'll put up with it this time. Okay, we're good. All that, just to do that, but now I feel good, and that's important. When you feel good about something, and I don't know if I'm going to feel good about this, but let's try it. Try that out. Put you here. Put you at 240. Update preset. Confirm. Okay, that doesn't look horrible. It's not as shiny, but look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at how look at how the lods work. Okay, I'm down with that. We'll do that. Okay. 
So we have this one coming over. I'd like to have it come down another one maybe here. And I don't know if this is really going to work or not in, in my mental state of thinking of, oh, it has to be on the inside. Oh, crap. Nope. Not going to work. Not the mama. Okay. That's not going to work. We tried it. I thought that might work better, but it's not going to. Let's keep our line. But let's make this go down the center then. Because that was ugly. No way we could do that with the ugly. Googly moogly? No. All right, let's see what this does here. Okay, I'll go up another one. Winner. All right, let's go here. Let's take out uh, this stuff down here and maybe. Can we go down another one with you right here? And maybe bring you down a little, a couple notches, because that's kind of that's kind of a lot. Actually, let's do another one. Let's get a window thing set up here. AKA conveyor entrance window. All right, so it's set up for center. One, two. How do you look going into there? You don't like going in there like that. But this is probably going to be too tall or not. It did it! We're the winners. We're the winners. Okay, so what we need to do is make this look a little bit better. Come on, baby. That's off. Can't do that. Nope. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Wait, wasn't, was it off? I can't tell. And it isn't now, though. And then we'll do this guy. Okay, so let's see if a small foundation will help us line up underneath it better. It will. Okay, and we can go like that. And then, uh, how floaty time do you look? Not bad. And I wonder how bad the layering is going to look on that. It's going to be all up in its junk, but I guess we could do this. There's enough of a space. This is again where a sniper DPI would be great. Eh, that'll work. Looks double reinforced. Why are you wrong? Yeah, I don't I don't get it. Whatever. Whatevs. Okay, um so this is now coming down to there. It's clean. That should be blue, but it's not. But that one's okay, this is weird. Okay, so anyway, um we're up here. We have the feed coming in. Let's go into this way. That's good words to go into this way. We're gonna go into this way. And let's get our organization out. Let's put you on two. And I wonder if we have enough room. I think we will. Can we center it on the foundation itself? No, it has to. No, wait, that was that was pretty centered. Self-centered, but centered anyway, nonetheless. I wonder if we can do four of these. And that leaves a little bit of walk around room. I'm down with that. So does this look good? Like a tight 90 or not? Eh. Maybe, but we'll try it the other way first. Maybe, perhaps, possibly. So let's see here. If we have you come out, like, let's say, can we go right there? It's uh, probably not. It's too, too close. So if we do that, oh, it's not going to work. So we have to do it like this. We'll pretend. Pretending. That's when I thought she was pretending. All right, let's go right here. Like she knew the plan. Demonetization. Okay, um, let's go right here, and then that's in, and there's a little bit of cracks where the foundations are, but I'll put up with it for now until we'll get closer to the final build and decide what we're going to do. Uh, this is going to slide over one. We're going to slide it over. Yeah, that's going to have to happen. Let me do this. Let me get the whole lower storage area complete, and then we will be our B people of games that watch. Okay, we got things worked out. Uh, this area is set up. Uh, I have the feeds coming in from the copper ingots, which I already connected. I'll show you that. And then we have outputs coming down from these ramps to... 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 get over here. There we go. No, stop, stop, stop. To uh, lead out for the cable and the wire production coming out. 
it's heading this way and we have a couple of loops for our storage units here so we've got these guys they're squared up with these guys and the you can see the coppers coming in sweeping around and it's starting to back up here um and then this will be our output here for cables and wire when they go out and they'll head out this way i left a little hidey hole over here and this is the cleanest setup i could come up with with the space we have allowed to come down the heights which it doesn't look that bad from here so um i just wanted yeah you know, to get it as clean and ready to go as possible there appear there's a little bit of overlap up top which i'm not necessarily happy about but i think it's the best option we have right now to make it as clean as possible while we can anyway let us get to the planning of stuff now that we have copper ingots uh able to be fed into our machines i guess we need to go ahead and get our machines going you can see here this is the output here's the input here let's go ahead and put this back in the hole um i'll leave that open for now so uh hopefully the space we have is enough to get done what we need to do now i'm hoping to bring the copper ingots over this way and maybe we can do a, a nice tight 90 offset uh doesn't look like that would end up being that would go into the wall and i do not want to use wall things <laughs> wall conveyor holders uh so let's see we're gonna need eight of these constructors let's pull the constructors and see what the deal is if I can do that, because I want them to feed out and then go into those guys. We have a good amount of room back here, but we're going to need to leave room for splitters. Um, so let's let's actually. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this first. Um, let's pull this over that way to have that. We have two with this and that's one. So it needs to be somewhere up here. We don't need all the room. So let's do it like right. Well, I don't know why I don't want there, but let's see what this does for us. One, two, three four five ooh, six so we can fit six up here hmm um and we have that over there if we could fit eight we would be good golden can we do anything sideways like probably not it doesn't look deep enough we could expand over this way again with our roof system here and maybe make something happen so let's try that out and i can tie this in later let's get the work done let's get the work done so how, how wide can we make these if we do this right let's see where's our middle point we have that we have six here so this is our middle point here we'll leave a little space actually let's let's pretend that we're not and Let's leave a little bit of room on the side and try this out. Let's go. It can merge or completely out when they come out. There is room there. Now, if we get a merger out, our splitter, so we get our splitters out. So let's put you on two. Let's put the organization logistics on one. So let's say we bring some of that around and it comes up this way and let's just go ahead and choose a spot which will be like right in line with that. So this if this comes up this way, we will need to do well, what not fall off first off. That's too close. There we go. And then bring this over this way. So that's a nice straight line to a tight 90 tight 90s for the win. And then how about we run a splitter down the middle of here, maybe this line here, and we can bring the splitter in. Maybe we can do it like this instead. Let's just do that for now to get our, our tight 90 set up. I think that's the closest we'd be able to do anyway. And then this way we can split out into the different groups. Uh, four so we'll need another set of two sets of splitters still going hmm this is going to cause okay so we probably need to split it sooner so if we whoa 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 if we split it sooner let's say we do it like wherever the next one's going to be um god dang it i hate i hate i hate hate it <laughs> well we could have them come like that and do a weird merger later that would actually free up the room like we would need 
let's assume we're going to do a facing the other direction. So let's say we got one coming in. We got a line coming in. So we need a line here. Rotate. There you go. There. Is that it? That looks like it's about it. And then we can do a merge a splitter here. Mer blah, 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 blah. And then over here, we have another one lining up like that. Oops, and these are off. Let's put this one down. Let's get this one over here. So you go into here, you go into here, you go into there, and then we have a tight 90 right here. Tight 90 right here. I'll go over one more. And there we go. And there we go. And there we go. And right here, we can have another. There we go. Just a second. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about right there. Bam. Okay, nice. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so those are all in. Very nice. Uh, in the back end of this, we can throw mergers up and have plenty of room for the mergers running back out. We got enough return room from the return corner here. And this is the space we need. Um, I wonder if we just do this then. Yeah, like that. And let's line these up to where they're, they're even. Let's go right here. Do something. Usually I have them all come together right now. Over me. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. I'd like to work with the space we've already chosen. I really don't want to mess with this portion. I mean, we could push them up one, I think. Do we have room up here? That would be so freaking ugly, too, if I pushed them up one, especially with that. Oh, uh, Um, We could make them all feed out this way. And since this one's on the inside, that wouldn't work out. It would have to be on the outside. So if we fed them up that way, it would do that. Uh, let's put a wall back up here. This way I can jump on top and get out. Um, so if they were feeding here, it would leave that messed up too. Whew. Well, let me get some work done here, I guess, and we'll come back and get this thing worked out. Okay, welcome back. I think I got it worked out. Uh, that was for viewing purposes. Doesn't stay in there. Same with this one I'm on now. As you can see, I have three splitters up on each other, like like hard. I'm not usually into that, but the situation calls for it to make it happen with the space we've got. So we have the ingot feeding in. I haven't connected to this splitter yet. The splitter's just connected to that one. This one's connected to that one. So we have the first initial split that's leading into this juncture down here. I slid this one down so it was in line with these three, so it looked at least clean. And then it goes down here and splits again. There's a split there. Um, and then the, when this one splits, it goes to these two machines, which splits again into those machines. And this one comes in here and splits there. So that is 15, 15, 30, 30, that's 60. And that's 120 altogether. So we have the 120 split up balanced evenly amongst the uh, eight machines. It's a lot of work uh, getting that right. Uh, let me go ahead and get ready to use. So I just wanted to show you that because that was some, some finagling that we had to get done which I'm happy it is done. Now let's get rid of this so we get our tight 90 back. There's our tight 90 and it should feed to all the machines. So let's go ahead and get all these guys set up for wire. Which we don't have power yet, but I have power already running elsewhere. We can pull from to make sure everything works. Let's get this here. And then on the back end, I did a, oh, that's what this guy was for, so we can see that. It'd be a little bit easier for you guys to, to check it out. And there we go. And then on this end, we have the merge, two of them coming to the merge to a uh, cable machine. Two of them merge again to cable machine and merge out. And then this area, um, I think I want to actually move this up one. So it matches the other guy coming in. So you're right there. So we need to put you here and then you there. Bring you down here. You right there and you right there. So now we have these lines are matching up with each other. Uh, that one is off. Wow. Okay. 
that better? That is better. Let's make sure that looks pretty. Sorry to keep jumping around on this thing. Um, and the default colors, again, are, are kind of crazy. Uh, they aren't always applying. Like, you can see, like, where it's completely on, but then it's not, then it is, then it isn't. I, I don't know. All right, that looks a lot cleaner, a lot better. Um, I may even want to do the turn up there instead. Let's try that out. I guess this view is a little bit better to do if you know what you're doing with spacing. So let's get the spacing right. Um, you're right here. And then get this line up. Yeah, I like that better than a tight little U there. I like the tight 90s, but the U kind of looked a little busy-ish. So that at least continues to work with our downstairs. I did not want to push this thing forward anymore. We did go wider on that side to make everything fit, but it, it, it looks pretty nice. It looks pretty nice. And we can still build the anti-box too. So we'll, I think we'll be all right. The anti-box is, is, is a good thing. All right, so I guess we should go ahead and get this thing powered up to make sure it works. Um, wait, did I assign the cables yet? I did not. So let's get the cables assigned. And do I have... I should have enough for power here. So let's throw one in the middle of these guys for the power. You are centered there. You are not. So you're over one for these two. And like I said before, I didn't want to leave this without it being done. Like we're at least operational. So this is what we're, do we're doing this now for this reason. Uh, so you guys can see a finished product being created here. I think this is an offset. So we'll do that. Um, this one is offset as well. So we'll do that. Let's get over here. Um, hmm. I think I'm better off putting the lines in between here. Let's do this. It's like every single one kind of right now. So we'll do that. Let's just, let's just put them on every single one of these and this on this line. And maybe that'll look nice. Nice. Ooh, it's offset by one. We'll do that and see how she looks. And then we can't do anything about that over here. I hate to do it like this, but we got to do what we got to do to get things right, right? That actually is kind of cool with them in a row. If it was perfectly balanced between them all, the even wise, that would have been really nice. But again, we are limited by that. I guess we could come all the way out here, but then I couldn't get around once the walls are up. So we'll do this just so we can see the power up and then we'll end up changing the power line scheme just to make sure that, you know, in the end, there you go. How many do I have? One, two, so there's gonna be double somewhere. Okay. Um, let's do the end with a double. Not you. You're wrong. This here. This here. This there. That there. That there. There. And you're already connected. And there's a space in between these guys. So maybe we can shove this guy right here. Conveyor belt, work with me here. Thank you. And they're connected now. And can you get over there? You can. So we now have the power connected to all the devices here. Now we just need to get power connected to the entire build, which uh, we have. Yeah, we have a line over there. Uh, let's get over here. There we go. And what we'll do is right over this, we'll put one in the center for now. Let's face it towards where it's coming from. And then this can go down to that guy for now. And everything's working. Evenly distributed amongst everything except for you. What is wrong with you? Oh, you're not connected here, are you? There we go. 
So these are evenly distributed amongst everything. We should look like a, similar feeds across the board. Okay. Yeah, we, yeah, that's not too bad. And we have cable coming out. Now it's going downstairs. There we go. We have copper and cables coming. Copper is going to the outer. The cables are going to the inner. The co copper is already backed up. And the cables already getting produced. This is all out this way. There it is. It's feeding up there. The cables are... Let's get up here. There you can see the cables coming out. The wire is not... I don't think it's connected correctly. So let's fix that. There we go. Those are feeding up. This one, I guess I did this one backwards. Oopsie. Oopsie. Not that. No. No. There we go. <laughs> All the way backwards. That's fine. That's fine. At least the copper is on top. So it, that would be the most likely to look like it is touching our other ingots, our, our, our cables and stuff. So this actually kind of worked out for where it came out at. And that one's going to go inside there. We don't have it hooked up yet to this because I'm not sure how I want to handle it. I might put another row of conveyors going out to this guy. And we'll continue building walkways and have one go over closer to the front of our central hub area. We really do need to get that stuff set up and done. I really need to get more of these places built. But we have stuff coming out. We have production. I feel like we've accomplished the goal-ish, except for the physical beautifulness of the build, which we'll get into that. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you want to see the build of this factory of making it look pretty? Or do you want me to finish it off camera and then we start another factory or do something else after the fact? Let me know in the comments down below. But as always, guys, thank you so very much. And you all have a good night.